Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Willover9000, coming back at you with another video. And today's video is about my 2011 iMac and can you still video edit with that machine in the year 2021? So let's go ahead and find out and get into this video. Okay, before I get into this video, I wanna go ahead and give you guys my specs. So of course I'm running the latest that this machine will take, which is High Sierra. And of course it is a iCore 5, so um, it's not the iCore 7, but also I am running the 4 gigabytes of RAM with the a Radeon, AMD Radeon 6750 graphics card. So, of course, this is your typical standard um, out-the-box iMac. So, I didn't upgrade the RAM. I didn't do anything like that. So, there is no SSD in this machine. It is just solely running with the hard drive that came with it. So... That being said guys, let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay guys, so here is my 2011 iMac as promised. So before we get into this video, if you're going to be doing a lot of 4K video editing, unfortunately this machine is not going to help you and this video is not going to do you any good. So that being said guys, if you are only here for 4K video editing, then the answer is no. I hate to break your bubble, but sadly it cannot run 4k video editing nor can it play 4k very smoothly so if that's what you're only here for then i hate to say but this video is not for you unfortunately this machine was not designed to do any kind of 4k so if you're trying to do 4k video editing guys um you might want to build a pc that is in specs for 4k or you might want to look into a MacBook Pro or something newer. Besides that, if you are here for 1080p and stuff like that, well then, definitely stay at this video. I will show you how this all goes. So that being said, let's go ahead and get into this video. I don't want to make it too long, so um, I'm going to go ahead and straight jump into this video. So um, a few things that I want to touch about on my machine. I do have iMovie and Femora 10 and DaVinci Resolve. So... Today, guys, we will be running probably, um, we will probably be running for more 10, because why not? So, I'll be back once this is all done. Alright, guys, so I am back, so hopefully you guys can see this, but, um, here is the Formora 10 program, so I'm not gonna be going over how to use this program exactly, so it's not a tutorial, unfortunately, but... This is to show you guys that you can do some video editing within your iMac. So, um, here's the playback. So, it's definitely pretty smooth. Of course, this video is running at 1080 by 24 frames per second. So, um, I didn't find my 1080 by 60 frames with my GoPro, unfortunately. So, um, I wish I could show you guys that, but I don't have that footage anymore. So, um, that being said... There's really no lag in this, you know, it, it scrubs pretty well, so um, you can definitely move around, stuff like that. So if it's something you need to do, um, you'll have no problems with that. So let's go ahead and add in some audio, you know, because why not? So we'll do some actual uh, simple edits, so we'll just add this song because why not? I don't really care to do too much for it, so... I mean, this video is not going up or anything. It's just to show you guys that you can do video editing with your iMac. So um, let's go back and start here. So the music's playing. There's no choppiness or anything like that. So we have that going for it. Not bad, right? So um, let's go ahead and add a what? right so let's do some color and uh, definitely kind of get this to um, definitely make it look kind of good so we'll make this a um, let's just make this sort of fun so I'll do something kind of cool so we'll do we'll do Star Wars because I like Star Wars right so there's that and we'll take it back to the beginning of our video and voila so, like I said, this is very basic video editing, so um, this can handle graphics, so just to show you guys that you can do some graphical stuff, um, like if you're going to be using 
uh, Adobe and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure you could use uh, Premiere and whatnot, so we'll just add some lightning effect because why not? And then um, we'll put some more graphics just to show you that um, it can run graphics, no problem. So we have two graphic assets in here. So this is uh, definitely not getting warm or anything like that. So I'm not hearing any fans. So that's always good news. So we have the question marks and that's that. So like I said, this is with the Formaro 10. And of course, if you're gonna be using iMovie, um, well, it's obviously iMovie, so it's gonna run perfectly on here because it's optimized by Apple for Apple machines. So you'll have no problems. But the main problem is getting iMovie onto this machine. So the way you get the iMovie on your 2011 iMac is you need to have a um, newer Mac or MacBook to download iMovie and then you go back to here into your purchases and then you re-download it. So that's the way you get the iMovie for your older Macs guys. So um, that being said, I want to show you guys also the DaVinci Resolve and I'll probably be using the same clip to do this. So I'll be back once I get DaVinci Resolve opened. So. All right guys, so we are back and here is DaVinci Resolve. So I'm running Resolve 16 because I didn't feel like updating to the latest, but I am running the latest on my other machines. But for this one, I'm running 16 because uh, 16 seems very stable for the iMac 2011. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into this video. So um, here is a new project. And of course, this is not gonna be a tutorial. So if you guys are curious how to make videos and stuff like that within Resolve, um, maybe I'll make a tutorial or you can always go check out other uh, channels for that as well. So um, anyways, I just want to show you guys that you can do some video editing with this one as well. So um, we're going to go ahead and do the command I and we're going to import a video. So we're going to do the same clip from the Femoro 10. So um, we're going to go ahead and just click change because we want this to be pretty smooth. So, of course, this is running 1080 by 24 frames per second, or 25 for you guys in PAL, or Europe, sorry, I think it is PAL, but anyways, um, so, DaVinci Resolve, a little history before we go too far, this program is very resource heavy, so, um, what I mean by that is definitely make sure you have everything in the background turned off, or, you know, close them out, so, just a nice little friendly reminder. All right, anyways, so here's the playback. So, not looking too bad, you know? I mean, it's very simple, basic 1080 by 24 frames per second. So, of course, no surprise there, but like I said before, it's not getting hot and it's not getting warm, so we are still good, no fans. Also, um, we can do some pretty cool stuff within the editing program itself. So let's go ahead and add some colors and stuff, right? Because this gets pretty intense. So um, we can add color there. Uh, we can add color there. So also, if you want to do color grade, um, you can definitely do color grading with the iMac. So um, if that's something you guys are into, like you are doing professional video, or you know something that is professional you can do that with your 2011 iMac so or if you're a beginner on learning colors then guys this is honestly a really good machine to start off with so um let's go ahead and yeah, right about there should be good so now we have our color we're gonna go back to the actual process now if you guys know resolve is definitely a very hard program to deal with. So, that being said, let's go ahead and start pushing this machine to its fullest. So let's go ahead and add some titles because why not? So we'll just go ahead and drag this right on top. And by the way, this one's free, so if you guys need a video editing program that um, you need to do some work with, this one's free, but let me tell you, it 
can be a bit uh, daunting because there's a lot to learn. So we'll name this Husky Day. Um, sorry for all the ums in this video, but just I'm doing this all live. I didn't write a script. And also, I never saw any kind of videos showing off how you can do video editing with this machine. So I decided to make one for you guys. So now that we have that, so the problem with DaVinci Resolve, like I said, it's very heavy resource. So sometimes you'll get like really bad stutters like that, but it's okay, guys. It's perfectly fine. It does it even on my uh, main machine. So you'll just have to be a bit patient, but of course, you can definitely do some video editing with this. All right, guys, so here I am with the verdict for my 2011 iMac, and I wanna go ahead and tell you guys that you got to see me video edit with the Formora 10 program, of course, DaVinci Resolve. I didn't do iMovie or Final Cut Pro because, well, number one, I don't have Final Cut Pro 10 installed on this machine yet, so I um, unfortunately did not do that. And iMovie, well, it's obviously designed by Apple, so it's going to be perfectly fine to run it, so no surprise there. So if you guys came here for iMovie stuff, well, let me go ahead and tell you a really big spoiler. <laughs> it is um, optimized for Apple, so you'll have zero lag, absolutely no problems. So Final Cut Pro 10 will be definitely the same way, so if that's what you came here for, you guys will be fine to use those programs. Now, if you are using Adobe Premiere, I'm highly sorry. I apologize in advance. I do not have Adobe products, but um, I want to say it's probably safe to use it as long as you're not doing 4K video editing and maybe not too much graphical stuff. You should be fine. Um, I don't know about the whole graphical things. I never used Adobe Premiere so or Premiere Rush, so I'm not too familiar with either of those programs with using with the iMac so I can't guarantee that you will probably have the best experience but I'm pretty sure you can run it um, no problems because well you can run DaVinci Resolve on this so that being said guys one of the things you need to know is upgrade your RAM if anything that you want to do to this iMac make sure you put more RAM and you'll have a very smooth experience with any kind of video project you need to do that is not 4k but that being said, guys, um, I want to give you guys a takeaway on this video of would you like to still use it for video editing, maybe for a video project or a YouTube video like this one? Of course, you can still use it, so don't feel too bad to make videos on your older Mac. It's not a problem. So that being said, guys, um, if you have one still laying around, go ahead and use it still. It's great. If you plan on buying one for your first video machine edit, um, it's actually not a bad purchase. In fact, it's probably a really good budget friendly purchase. I mean, you can get these for under 200 bucks now. So, um, if you can find one for under $160, that's a very good deal. So definitely pick it up if you get the chance to find one in the wild. So that being said, guys, I hope this video was very helpful for you guys and very useful. So make sure you, um, definitely share this video to anybody who plans on getting into video editing or they want a very budget friendly iMac that can do video edits. So that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.